Alright, um, this is going to be the Chrono Cross fan dub slash LP. <coughs> Ooh. All the stuff I have currently up for Chrono Cross will be deleted, and <coughs> except for the name selections and the voice acts, cast, and whatnot. After talking to a few of the uh, people I have for voice work, I decided to redo it and <coughs> stick pretty close to the uh, fan dub for it as well. So, here we go. And like before, I don't have a Surge character name yet, so... Anyway, here we go. Again. What is it, Shirji Pug? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi! Come on, search, for sure. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Let's go. Let's start thinking back how I had it earlier. No. All right. I'm going to be re saying a lot of the stuff I said in the, in the last Chrono Cross stuff, so... <coughs> now, the battling in this game is a lot different than most games. You have attack, element, defend, and run away. Running away always guarantees a run away, every, every time you do it. Defend, you block. Element, you cast a spell, but you have to charge up to do it. And attack is attack. <coughs> um... Now this is where it gets unique. Underneath the HP there is a blue bar with stamina, or STA, which represents stamina, and 7.0. <laughs> that represents how much stamina I have. One stamina point um, will be taken off if I use one, two for two, and so on. <laughs> one is a weak attack, which is like, you know, a slight poke or something. Two is a moderate attack, and three is heavy damage. Now there's a hit percentage with it that comes with most games. But this one, you actually see it. I have a 92% chance with a weak attack, 79 with moderate, and 69 with the max. Normally, I'll do 2, 3, and end with 1. And, if I, and that'll leave me 1 stamina point, and I'll use a spell. I'd recommend doing that, but it's entirely up to you. Now, don't be surprised if you don't get any money. <laughs> You're not going to keep anything you get from here in this during this point. That was just to demonstrate battle, so I don't get you know <laughs> irritating later in the battles. I'm not going to try to avoid most bo monsters, at least during this little part. All this will make sense later. 
For now, we're just in some sort of unknown fortress deactivating our crystal. Yes. I'm good. Alright. Let's head up. Oi! What the bloody hell just happened? doing out here? Wow. Bugger! We're so high up! Is this thing floating? Do you feel like you're about to pass through the floor just now? It sure is some port. Essage? Hmm? You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes, eh? Heartbeats really loud in these headphones. <laughs> so apparently, all that was just a dream. <laughs> And a lot of people should recognize the uh, voice work that I have currently going on. <laughs> Alright. Now, a little secret that some people miss. Right underneath your bed, you have some money you can get. 200G. Now, <laughs> if you... If you were to actually um, fight some of the monsters, some of them might drop money. And if they do, you don't get to keep it, but your secret savings increase by a little bit. Let's talk to you. Yo, Surge! What do you think of the sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Ha! This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Surge? You think so too? I knew it. I just knew it. If it is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in. I'll be able to repair my roof, furnish my boat, buy a new sail. Eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Tremina. Ah, life is good. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That'd definitely be too good to be true. But thanks anyway, Serge. <laughs> thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like.
I wish the legend was true, though. The Dragon King Palace. There are enough dreams out there lately. <laughs> yeah, those Komodo skills will come important later, so... Uh, let's examine this. Shellfish frame. That is for the text for boxes and whatnot. You can change them. Um, I'll come back here and check it out later. Alright, talk to this kid. Alright. <coughs> this is how you use items in the game. You don't use items in battle, you use them on the field. You press square, and this comes up. We have a Komodo scale. This kid wants a Komodo scale, even though I didn't talk to him. So, you select the Komodo scale while next to the person and press X. Um, just give it to him for free. You won't get anything. You won't get the 1,000G if you ask for it. <laughs> That's what we wanted. So Pushul likes Hecron Bones. Barrel. <laughs> I don't know. Every helmet. Hepburn bone. Hmm. What are we going to use that for? Alright. Now this is for a uh, side quest that's going to come up in the future, so just talk to the girl. 